Welcome to the class of Orals Marine Hub YouTube channel. In this video, we are discussing what is the insulation class and that maximum temperature allowed for each insulation class along with the materials. So let's start the basic the basic introduction of the class of the insulation. So all the electrical equipment heats up when carrying load current with a consequent rise in the temperature. This temperature rises above that of the ambient cooling air temperature. All the marine electrical equipment is constructed and rated to work satisfactorily in the maximum ambient temperature of the 45 degree centigrade. Under these conditions, the expected temperature rise will not exceed the permitted temperature limit set for the insulation material. Hence, the insulation material that dictates the maximum permitted operating temperature of the electrical equipment. So for this purpose, the insulation is classified according to the maximum temperature at which it is safe to operate. The various classes of the insulation are listed. A machine operating continuously with these hotspot temperatures would have life expectancy of 15 to 20 years before the insulation failed completely. However, the life expectancy would be halved for every 10 degrees centigrade above these allowed hot spot temperatures. You, I have made another video related, related to the how to measure insulation resistance and in, the, in that video I have clearly uh, explained this line that life expectancy would be halved for every 10 degrees. You can find the link in the description. So this is the chart for the insulation class along with the column of maximum temperature allowed in degree centigrade and at the full load allowable temperature rise and in the last column you can find the typical material for the each insulation class. So let's start here with class A insulation. The maximum temperature allowed is 105 degree centigrade and at full load the allowable temperature rises 55 and the typical material is cotton, natural silk, synthetic silk and press pan. Next comes the class B insulation. For here, the maximum temperature allowed is 120, 120 degree centigrade with a full load allowable temperature rise 70 degree centigrade. The material for this class is wire enamels with a base of polyvinyl acetyl epoxy or polyamide resins. Next class E insulation. Again here, it is 130 degree centigrade maximum temperature allowed and at full load the rise is 80 degree. Typical material are mica products, wire enamels with the with a base of polyterephthalate lamin laminated glass fiber materials. Next is a class F insulation. Maximum allowed temperature is now increased to 155 degree centigrade and the Allowable temperature rise at full load is 105. Here also the typical material includes mica products, glass fiber, wire enamel with the base of imident, polyester and esterimide. And last the class H insulation. It has a maximum allowed temperature of 180 degree centigrade with full load temperature allowed is 130 degree centigrade. And here the typical materials are mica products, glass fiber, wire enamels with a base of pure polyamide. So this chart is very much important to understand what are the insulation class to be used for the alloyed maximum temperature for typical material of the uh, wiring and the electrical equipment and the material includes these listed materials. So I hope you have a uh, fine understanding of the insulation class along with their um, in individual particulars. So please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and please watch the how to measure the uh, insulation resistance and you can find the link in the description or at the end screen. Thank you so much.